So I live in Utah, and there is a huge push for technical talent. It is clear that there is not enough technical talent to go around in Utah. As I drive down the interstate, about every fifth or sixth sign will be a company advertising some sort of technical recruiting, trying to get the best tech people to come to their job, but I think it's kind of getting to the point where anyone who knows programming at a decent amount and probably has a bachelor's degree in software engineering or computer science is welcome to apply. All right, but one of the signs I saw uh, a long time ago, this is the first time I saw a joke. I'm going to tell you a joke. And the first time I saw this joke was actually on one of those billboards. And it's actually kind of a funny joke. It took me a sec to kind of catch on to what they were doing. but but. But this is where you know you've kind of stepped into the binary zone. Let me just bring the joke down here. There are ten types of people in the world, those who understand binary and those who don't. Well, of course, that's how I read it. I said there there are ten types of people in the world. But, but really, this isn't the number ten. If we're talking about binary, what is this value in binary? Using the, well, this, this number's small enough. We can do the primitive techniques. I can say we start out at zero, and then we count to a 1, and then we um, count to a 2, like so. And then all of a sudden, look, this number that we just counted here is identical to this one. So this is really saying there are two types of people in the world, those who understand binary and those who don't. So ha, 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 funny joke. That's kind of clever. And then it had some catch, like, come please work for us, apply here, blah, blah, blah. We want to pay you lots of money because you know computer science. All right? Anyway, nice little joke shows you you've stepped into the world. But then again, into the binary world. Uh, using the system I showed you in the previous video, remember this is a 1 and this is a 2. So really, it's 0 1s plus 1 2. Well, that's going to give you just 2. Anyway, there are two types of people in this world. Those who understand binary and those who don't. So let's th work through some examples here, going off what we did with the last video. I'm going to pull this off the screen and just bring up uh, my pen again. So what is this number? What is its base 10 equivalent value? All right, pause the video and work through this problem, and then let's compare the results against what I will work through, and then. Uh, we can compare it with what Windows Calculator says, and I encourage you, pull out Windows Calculator after you've worked this by hand and, and tell me what the value is. So I'm going to pause the video, you pause the video, and work through this problem and come back. Okay, uh, let's do it. I told you this represents a 1, and this represents a 2, this is a 4, and then what do we do to get our next value? Well, it's 4 times 2 is 8, and then 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64. Okay, so it's 1, 1, 1, 4, 1, 8, 0, 16s, 1, 32, and 1, 64. All right, well, let's, let's add those up. Uh, 4 plus 2 is 6, 8 plus 4 is 12, 6 plus 12 is 18, 19. 6 plus 3 is 9, 10, but let's let's do this the long way. It's 9, sorry, <laughs> it's not 9 here, it's, it's 10. So it's 10, but I put the 0 here, and I have this extra digit, that extra 1 I have to carry, but then 1 plus nothing will be 1. So it's 109. Let's verify that with the Windows calculator here and bring the calculator up. We have 181 from the previous video. Uh, we need to choose. Let's enter this value in binary. Actually, I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to say decimal here, and uh, I'm going to I'm going to enter decimal 109. So 109. Then I want to say let's let's see that in binary. Hopefully, it comes out as 1101101. So binary is 1101101. That's quite nice. But let me show you a way you can also cheat. I didn't have to click on binary. I could leave it in decimal. And notice the binary representation is always represented down here. So it's 1101101. 1101101. Okay, so so why does this system work? This this 1 2 4 8 16. Oh, well, let's 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 explore that, okay? Uh, we need to compare that against something you actually already know, and that's base 10. So I'm going to go to my base 10 color of red, and let's say I give you the number 3, 9, 6, 4. 
right? And if that's your bank account, that's that's a nice bank account. A few lunches at least, maybe enough lunches for the year. That's kind of nice. Uh, three nine six four. Uh, so what does this really mean? What does this really mean? Well, going back to what I did up here in base two land, let me go back to the green here, and really it's going to be one, and then this is ten, and then this is a hundred. All right, that's a hundred, and this is thousand. Okay, and what am I doing here? To increase these values, I went from a 1, and what did I times 1 by to get 10? Well, I times it by 10. 1 times 10 is 10. And then what did I do to this 10 to make it 100? Well, I times it by 10, and so that gives me 100. And then what did I do to this 100 to make it 1,000? Well, I times it by 10 to get 1,000. So every time I move along here, okay, pop, 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 every, every time I go up, that's just multiplying by another 10. Well, what are we doing down here? Or, or up here, I guess. We're multiplying by 2 instead of 10. So 2, 4, 8, 16, pop, pop. Every digit we just multiply by 2. Every digit here we multiply by 10. Right? So so uh, let, let's examine this a little bit. If I want to know what the value of this number is in base 10, we could say, hey, Jamie, uh, <laughs> it's just 3964. Yeah, but let's. Th what does this actually mean? That's, it means if I did this in dollar bills, Okay, if I if I was going to give you three thousand nine hundred sixty-four dollars, well, last time I checked, the U.S. Department of Printing Money, whatever that is, the Treasury, they don't print a dollar that has the number three nine six four on it. All right? They print hundred dollar bills. Okay, and they print ten dollar bills, and they print one dollar bills. I can actually get those in coins as well. Um. I, I don't think they still print $1,000 bills, but let's just pretend that they do. Okay, so, so how would I give you $3,964 using this numbering system here, this, I, I, this granularity, so to say. This is a, this, these are the only bills I can give you. Well, I would need to give you three $1,000 bills. I would have to give you nine $100 bills. I would have to give you six $10 bills. And I'd have to give you four one dollar bills. And that would be three thousand nine hundred sixty-four dollars. Okay? Now let's work the math out similar to what were we what we were doing with the binary values. Remember this binary system here? Let me go back to blue. I said it's going to be one one. Oh now I'm off the screen. Sorry about that. Let's let's go let's go over here. Let's it's one one. Okay. And it's zero twos, but it's one four. Okay. And it's 1.8, and it's 0 0.16s, and it's 1.32, and this is 1.64. Okay, and then we added them up. And, and if you think about it, base 2 land, what kind of dollars does base 2 land have? Well, there's a $1 bill, and there's a $4 bill, and there's an $8 bill, and there's a $32 bill, and there's a $64 bill. Okay, in base 2 land, those are the types of dollar bills we get. But in our base 10 land, we get one ten hundred. 100 and 1,000. And you may think that this, well, let's just ignore that. Let me let me come back to this. So what does this mean? This is 1, 1, 1, 4, 1, 8, 132, and 164. Well, we can only have 1 or 0 of every value here. But down here, instead of having 1 or 0, we can have 4 1s. Okay, so 4 1s, well, that's $4. And then 6 10s, that's $60. And then 9 hundreds, well, that's $900. And 3 1,000s, well, that's Three thousand dollars, and then, well, if we add them all up, we're going to we're going to get three. Well, let's let's do this properly. Four plus zero plus zero plus zero is four, and six plus zero plus zero is six, and nine plus zero is nine, and three by itself is three. So three nine six four, which is exactly what we started out with before. But now I can say, hey, I need to give you uh, these dollar bills. Anyway, so that's base 2, base 10, works exactly the same. The only difference is we got a 2 instead of a 10.